Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and I'm going to show you today how to take rice paper, also known as spring roll wrappers, and turn them into something amazing. I often use isomalt when I want to get something clear and with a lot of body and shape, but this alternative is a lot lighter. You won't get as much clarity as if you used isomalt, but it'll still give you that clear appearance if that's what you're looking for. In order to make the sale portion, you do need to soak your rice paper just for a few short seconds, about 10 to 15 seconds until it becomes pliable and you notice that the imprint that it came with is gone. Even after you dab this off with a cloth, it is going to be quite sticky and if the rice paper touches any other rice paper, it will stick to it. So you just need to be careful about making your shape. I'm going to be making these sales to go on to a really modern and fresh looking dessert, so make sure that you follow up on my tutorial tomorrow. What I'm really loving about these modern cake and dessert trends is that they're really lending to a freeness. I love when things are a little bit more abstract and don't have to be so perfect. In order to make the bee wings, all I'm doing is I'm taking that piece of rice paper and letting it lay flat to dry. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking all of that rice paper and sticking it into the oven at 175 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes until things dry out. Using that piece that I had originally soaked and then put in the oven, I am now using it to trace with my edible pen over top of this bee picture that I have. You don't need to use a picture, you could totally do this freehanded, but I just like using the picture so that I have a nice guide. I do want to make note that this rice paper is still semi-pliable. You don't want it dried to a crisp or else when you try to cut it, it's going to break on you. Rice paper has a tendency to curl up on you, so you need to make sure that you put some weight down on it so it stays flat. I do want to make note that whenever you are working with rice paper that you use non-stick surfaces so that you can remove your decoration really easily after it's all done. Take those wings and then you're going to place it between two pieces of parchment paper and two heavy duty pans. That's just to keep things nice and flat. All right, now it is time to make your bumblebee. I'm using black fondant today, but you could easily use gum paste or modeling chocolate. The choice is yours. You'll notice that later on in the video, I do end up changing that bottom part of the body just because I want a little bit of a smaller bee. To adhere everything together, I'm just using a dab of water and once that dries completely, it's all going to stick together. I'm using a little bit of floral wire here to make the antennas. Anytime I have a really delicate looking thing like this, it's very hard to do out of fondant or gum paste, so using this type of wire will really help you. Stick in those rice paper wings that you made earlier, and I do want to note that you should try and stick them a little bit higher, so not too much to the sides, but higher so that it looks like it's flying. I have made a lot of fondant bumblebees, but I really, really love the look of having that clear wing. It just makes it look a little bit more modern and realistic. I'm not going for a super realistic look here today, but if you wanted to, this would definitely be the way to go. Like I said earlier, we are not going completely realistic today, which is why I am painting this gold. I'm using a really, really thin brush and using Luster Dust from Truly Madly Plastics. This is my favorite gold of all time. I literally will not use anything else because it works so well. Depending on what you're doing with these sails, you could just leave it that clearish white and that would look really cool on a cake but I am going to be making something really golden-y with a lot of caramelized notes in it, so I do want to add in this gold. Rice paper is just so versatile, and I love that it doesn't have a really strong flavor, so it can actually help offset some of the sweetness of desserts. And in my everyday cooking life, I always have a lot of rice paper on hand because I just love a good spring roll. Do make sure that you get the right type of rice paper or spring roll wrapper because there are several different types. This would be the type that you would use to make a salad roll, for example. Links to all of the materials will be down below though. I love how luxurious looking these all turned out. It almost kind of looks like jewelry to me.
Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!